Good morning and welcome again to sit down with Father John. I want to welcome you again and today we celebrate one of the feasts for Lady which is sorrowful. We reflect on the sorrows and the tribulations she had in life. At the end of my talk I will talk in detail about it. But in the meantime I want to tell you what's happening in the parish. Faith formation started this weekend and next weekend we're going to have the blessing of our catechists and people who help in faith formation because they are tremendous people. They're volunteering for the whole year and the church gives them a tremendous blessing. Now Father Bill will be celebrating the 10 o'clock mass and he will give the blessing. The theme of this year's uh, catechetic year is the body and blood of Christ where we receive life and joy from the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. The next wonderful thing happening in our parish is the next uh, next October the 1st Bishop Parks is coming to the to the parish to start the month of Our Lady of the Rosary with a special Mass to Our Lady at 10 o'clock. After the Mass he will unveil a statue of Our Lady of Armour of Hope. That day is also a special day. If you want to do more, you can have a one mother, one family retreat. Details are in the bulletin. The 2nd of November is the blessing of animals because the Feast of St. Francis on the, is on Monday, so we have the blessing on the 2nd, and Father Bill, who loves to bless animals, will be there. And he asked me especially, can you bring some exotic animals? He's tired of blessing dogs and cats, but he loves to bless some exotic animals, so please bring them if you have them. Then October the 3rd, another busy morning in St. Anne. Despite COVID, this is going to be a busy morning. We're going to have a Rosary for Life in the courtyard at 9 o'clock with all the Faith Formation children and their teachers, and you're all welcome to come and pray for life. We know respect for life is very difficult in our country at the moment so I'd like you to come and pray that people have a different attitude towards life this also is the first Sunday of the family mass of faith formation and all our children will be at the 10 o'clock mass praying now after the 10 o'clock mass you won't believe it the Knights of Columbus are going to give us a pancake breakfast. The vast meter advertised after the 8 o'clock and the 10 o'clock mass, the Knights are going to give a pancake breakfast. That Sunday is going to be a wonderful Sunday in St. Anne. Please come and join us. On Tuesday the 5th of October is our healing mass. Remember, it's the first Tuesday month we have the healing mass. Now, the following Saturday, October the 9th, something new in St. Anne. It's called Ice Cream Social and Adoration. It's to get young families to come together to pray, but it's open for all to come to the hall, to have ice cream social, and then we go to the church for 20 minutes for adoration with music and prayer. And this is to give our children an appreciation of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. We will have prayers and hymns suitable for the children. But all are invited because we're all young at heart. Tuesday the 19th, can you believe Tuesday the 19th is called Ladies Night Out. And what if I, what is this Ladies Night Out? Due to COVID last year, people couldn't socialize. So they asked, could you do something in the parish? So we came up with the idea of a Ladies Night Out. That means mass at 6.30 and a box dinner in the courtyard and we all, all the ladies can socialize who are afraid to go out. And you can get the details on our bulletin, you see? You go to our bulletin, St. Anne, and then you from down here you see one mother, one child, adoration, social action, ladies night out. You can click ladies night out there, or ladies night out there, or there, or up here. Says just for fun to see just for fun. Oh, there's bingo there as well. Just for fun, click on a ladies' night out. Look what happens. There we are. And then you fill in your registration. And you, if you have any children for, if you have any children for uh, childcare, we put them there and we look after your children. And this is for mothers, young mothers and young families for every lady, not just old ladies. 
just every lady in the parish. Now, that's good. So then the last thing in October is October the 31st is a Sunday, which is Halloween. So at the 10 o'clock mass, we're going to have the Saints Parade that the children of faith formation will dress up as saints. You can come and see the beautiful costume designs. And after mass, normally we have a big parish picnic or a party for Halloween, but due to COVID, we're not going to have this year, but we're going to have a trunk and treat. And if anybody would like to be in part of the trunk and treat, please see the faith formation team, Mirabel or Cindy in the faith formation office, and they'll tell you what to do. And hopefully afterwards, we'll have something also in the hall. That's October the 31st. Now, they are just a few of the wonderful things happening in St. Anne's Parish. Now, you can make them happen by participating. So I hope you will participate, and I hope you will tell your friends about these wonderful things happening in St. Anne's Parish. Now, I told you today is the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Every one of us on our journey has sorrows. We all have sickness and we all lose people on our journey, which is painful. And so let us look at the sorrows Our Lady had in her life. Even though she was the Mother of God, she did suffer pain during her life. And the first thing happened was when she went to circumcised Jesus in the temple to give God praise a holy man called Simeon came up to her praise God for seeing her child and then she said to him your child will cause you many heartaches and a sword will pierce your heart I'm telling the poor Mary was full of joy and then to say this son is going to cause her pain that's horrible and then what about a few weeks later Joseph had to get up in the middle of the night and rush her off to Egypt, emigrate to Egypt, a flight into Egypt, leave everything behind and start a new life in a foreign country. How difficult that is. Many of us have experienced that in our life. A lot of us are immigrants, a lot of us have come over and we find it's not easy. So that's a, a sorrow. And then when he was 12, imagine losing your son for an hour, but losing your son for three days what a heartache for a mother that would be, and for a father. I've lost children for 10, 15 minutes in Dublin, late for the bus. That caused me a heartache, but for three days, oh, that's horrible. And what do you think about parents who've lost children, missing children? That they must be going through terrible thing, and then when the child's not found, not found for years, that's, there's no heartache like that. And then finally is, the grieving. There's no greater grief than when a mother loses her child. That's the, one of the greatest sorrows in life, a mother losing her child. And what does Mary do? She sees Jesus on the way to the cross, going to Calvary to be crucified. She sees him being crucified on the cross. The soldiers digging the spear into his side. Oh, horrible. Then they took him off the cross and laid her in her arms. The Pieta, Michelangelo's Pieta, showed the sorrowful mother. And then finally putting Jesus in the grave. And what great sorrow is for a mother when she sees her son or her daughter being put in the grave and being buried. The great separation, that's the greatest pain a mother can endure. So Mary has endured all these pains with us. So we pray to her and she'll help us on our journey in this valley of tears. So we say the prayer to Our Lady of Sorrows. O Mother of Sorrows, strength from above, you stood by the cross, sharing the sufferings of Jesus with tender care. You bore him in your arms, mourning and weeping. We praise you for your faith, accept the life God planned for you. We praise you for your hope, which trust that God would do great things for you. We praise you for your love in bearing with Jesus the sorrows of his passion. Holy Mary, may we follow your example and stand by our children who need comfort and love. Mother of God, stand by us in our trials. Care for us in our many needs. Pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To the new cry, for banish from the eve. To the new be set up our sighs. Morning, we weep in this valley of tears. Turn to the most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, a reconciled show to us the blessed truth of thy womb, Jesus. 
O Clement, O loving and sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made, made worthy of the promises, promises of Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Till next week, we sit down with Father John again. Bye.